This segment of DoD TV is brought to you by MOTV, the exclusive digital home for all DoD Outdoor Channel shows. season 22 we talked about a project we we're working on on the river well it's coming to fruition here's an update there's our grass we wanted on the north end our beans are 19 to 20 inches high i just measured them the corn is already tasseled it's probably nine ten feet i'm gonna go over there and check it and i'm gonna check the river bottom see how thick it is of course we've got the timber block to the north so hopefully once we add in the green fields and then, you know, start hunting it, it should be the perfect layout. Whether we succeed here or not, I don't know, but the plan's coming together. Everything we hope for is actually right there behind me. Beans, corn, blind, timber, grass, thicket. That's hard to do, thicket along the river. So anyway, a little update from deer season 22. I'm putting a camera out. We'll certainly share the results once they come in, but it's getting to that time of the year where it's very exciting. That's a bio rock in front of that camera. That may be one of the best products Biologic makes. They ought to call them magic rocks because they are magic. You put it out, a month later, come back and check it. But in this case, we'll check it daily. It's amazing how those deer this time of the year, particularly the bucks, will hit that rock. It's awesome. And uh, I love to use them for inventory. We're illegal. I'm in Harrison County, Missouri. It works here and it's legal. I'm over here right now where the corn meets the cut that we did. We had a road that went down in, we had a camera on it, and I knocked out basically the out, outside road that were in decent shape, but a lot of them didn't have ears on it anyway and it created a path out to the beans between the beans and the thicket. So I'm gonna put a camera right here, monitor what's coming and going. I'll also put it on rock, but overall, corn looks really, really good. And there's deer starting to farm. We like it. Okay, a little sneak peek in the jungle. That's where we did all of our cutting and opened up the sky so that that stuff could grow. That stuff's all anywhere from my waist up to my chest. And I love it. Love it. This little runway is gonna be perfect coming off that corn. Down the roadway. Right past Mr. No Missum, Reconyx. DeerCast is now supercharged with maps. Get ahead of your game with killer new features like live Doppler radar, wind check out to five days, virtual rain gauges, GPS path tracking, and more. Plus, get our 14-day revolutionary DeerCast prediction and access to DeerCast track. Prep, predict, and pursue with DeerCast. You know, the deer season 22 is rolling on. We've had a few installments now and trying to give you updates on what's going on on the farm. And we're into this time of the summer. Here we are in late July where we're starting to take inventory of the deer on the farms. And uh, we do that with a blitzkrieg of cameras, Reconyx cameras, in a lot of different places. We try to go with a camera per 80 acres if it's a big farm. If it's a small farm, maybe a camera per 40 acres. And we generally get most of the bucks that we feel like are on the area, are in the area that time of year. We focus on food and we try to make sure that we're in a spot where the deer are. Because this time of the year, you can go to the middle of the timber, that's awesome during the rut, put a camera out and not get a buck picture. But if you go to a bean field a mile away, you're liable to get all the bucks. So focus on the food, whatever that food source is. We're gonna focus on this bean field and some clover fields, some alfalfa, a, a water also, any different magnet we can find. Then once we have our cameras out, 
the real magic for us in terms of taking a very thorough inventory of the bucks is Analogic Supplement Gold. We've been using it in front of our cameras the last few summers and sometime from mid-July through mid to late August, if they smell it, they're coming. And I mean, they absolutely destroy it. If you've never tried it, give it a try because without question, it is the one secret ingredient for us to take and get great summer camera pictures. Analogic Supplement Gold is a game changer in terms of taking inventory. They literally can't resist it this time of the year. If I had to make a pick, I would pick the first 20 days of August. It seems like that kind of matches up with their antlers are pretty much done growing. Bucks are starting to move around just a little bit more, and that's a really good time to take inventory on, on your farm. So we're gonna throw some cameras out. Wade and Perry are gonna throw some cameras out and uh, just try to hit a variety of different farms, get as many as we can out in a couple different day period. But we're lucky with the temperature today. We didn't get the rain we wanted, but we got the temps we want. Good time to put cameras out. One little tip whenever we're putting up cameras is uh, we always try and face them either straight south, uh, southeast, or straight north. We really try and avoid the west southwest uh, just for the fact of uh, getting all your pictures backlit whenever it's prime deer movement time. So, just a little tip we always use we're going to have a pile of analogics right out in front of this camera and probably do a three minute delay because they will just sit in front of it and chow down. So. She ticks. Come on, Brainiac. Perry. Always I putting in the batteries up and down. You know, we're always trying to make every farm better, every spot better, every camera better. And this camera has been good for many, many years. They love to scrape right here under these limbs. And I get them here summer, I get them here during the season, during the late season. And I tried to make it even better because I, I brought the veil in here with the x Maltra on the John Deere and made a logging road all the way back to my line, which is probably 200 yards west of here. So I've got the camera pointed due south, south, southeast. That's a safe direction. And I put that logging road out right here in these scrapes. So I tried to make this spot even better. I'm anxious to see what happens here this year. But came in here, got an electric uh, greenworks weed whip, got the grass out of here, got the reconics running. We'll see what shows up here this summer. There's two or three here that are real good that hopefully blew this year. I'm excited. Check this out. Like this looked like that. You really could hardly walk through it. And now there's a logging road going all the way back through there. I suspect they're gonna come out right here at these scrapes. It's gonna make this camera a good camera even better. So it's about winning every pitch of every game. And even at the smallest little things you do could end up putting a buck in the back of your truck just because you get that much more information. We talk about food plot architecture. Well, here's structural architecture as well. Well, we use Analogic Supplement Gold for a lot of different things, but one big reason we're using it right now is the drought we're in. We've had no rain for the last three weeks, going on a month now, and uh, we're doing everything we can to keep these deer healthy, keep them alive, and do everything we can for them. Not only do we put out Analogic Supplement Gold to help them eat and stay healthy during this drought, but we try to put it close to water sources so when they get up to feed, 
they have what they need all in one spot, close to water, come get the food, everything in one they need to be healthy during this drought and this hot summer weather. I can't believe deer season 22 is rolling on as fast as it is. Uh, it seems like just yesterday we were working on that piece and one of the things we concentrated on there was access and we planned that into the plan. We're about to show you a hunt where access was the key. We've got our analogics out, we got cameras rolling, we'll be sharing some of the hit listers with you in future episodes. But for now, we're going with Dalton Kramer, where he used access to take this buck. Gravel road, up a bluff into the stand, I mean literally perfect. Wind in his face blowing back out over his access point, uh, the gravel road. Not every spot is designed like this. Uh, Mother Nature didn't give us many of these, but boy, when you find them and there's deer movement in front of you, they are magic. We did something very similar to this to start off the turkey season. A little pep rally, if you will. Well, here's a hunt that did not make it into deer season 21, yet it is worthy of sharing because it's an awesome, awesome hunt. It's being featured on Bow Madness this summer. Here comes Dalton doing what he does best, only this time he's not with his dad, Dave, up there in the northeast part of Iowa. Well, at this particular set, there's one deer that I was looking for, and we had trail camera pictures of him, and we saw him in the same stand last year as well. He's a beautiful, mature nine-pointer. With this being late October and only having nighttime photos of this deer, I'm not gonna wait to get that first daylight photo. I'm gonna go in and try to kill him. It's the morning of October 27th, just to the south of me, there's a big bedding area. Probably the biggest bedding area in this timber. Hopefully it's a good set. Well, the morning's rolling on. I started to film this group of does in front of me and I thought I heard something behind her. I looked to my left away from the screen and this giant mature nine pointer is right here at 20 yards. Well, after I let down, I recentered the frame on one of these does, and all I could do was hope that he worked in with them. After I made what looked like a perfect heart shot, I knew I just had to get on my phone and call my dad. Good day, good day. Big, giant, mature nine pointer on our lease back home. Stick with us, I'll be at the tree in about 10 minutes. You're not gonna believe the stand. We've hunted it quite a bit the last couple of years. I hung it two years ago. It is literally right on this road, right on top of that bluff right there. Late October, right place, right time. Dalton got it done, laid it all down himself. What a fantastic hunt. Just shows why we love this part of October and why we pick that time year after year. Yep. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> He's piled up already. Look at the body on that deer. Over 27. Take a look at this giant 300 pound old, old white tail. We actually encountered this deer last year in the same tree without realizing it. He had a messed up antler last year, but this side was good. So according to that, we think he's probably a five and a half year old, six and a half year old whitetail. Uh, I had trouble getting the camera on him at first. I couldn't be more excited. This is uh, my first ever self film kill. And I laid it all down and here it lies. So couldn't be more excited. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV was brought to you by MOTV. For full episodes of 13 and all of our outdoor channel content, head over to the MOTV app and view it today.